Here we are for another episode of The Wind Downs with the very talented, amazing, and versatile Natasha Rothwell, who of course plays the hilarious Kelly Prinny on our show. What are you drinking, girl? This is some rosé. I told them I'll have what y'all have. Oh, okay. All right, well, there we go. Turn up, turn up. Hey. <laughs> So episode six is called Tired. Okay. And we see Issa have issues at work while Molly lets loose in front of her coworkers. Now we're in good company today because this was your insecure directorial yeah. debut. Not just your insecure, directorial debut, period. And this was the perfect episode for you because it was the perfect mix of drama and comedy. How much of a challenge was it to direct this episode, if at all? I mean, I felt like it was kind of the next logical step on my journey with the show. All of the acting helped me to be able to communicate with the actors on yeah. set. So it just really sort of codified everything that I'd done before, so I so love excited. the way that you spoke to us as actors. Like, I, it was just, you're, you're such a natural communicator in general, but can you talk about like what it felt like to direct your co-stars? It was a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was such a treat. I think that, like, for me, I just wanted to earn the respect of my, like, castmates authentically, not just like, yeah. oh, they're just doing this because I said, and then they're going to do their own thing. Working with Yvonne was so incredible. She was just so with me and, like, trusted yeah. me. Like, some people don't know that you were the first writer we hired on the show. You have a gigantic sense of humor, so you had this fancy <laughs> sequence of Issa pushing the oh baby. This episode was a real excellent mix of both levity and gravity. The kind of comedy that I'm drawn towards has sort of, like, its roots in realism and right. grounded. And so it was a fun episode to sort of play in that world for sure. Yeah, your um, additions to the stunt scene. <laughs> I felt like you wanted me to get kicked. As a director, I just wanted to play and just to see, let you find it as <laughs> okay. well as... Well, I found it. My okay, face cool. found the ground a lot. <laughs> yeah. No, it's trash. Kick straight in the trash. Straight yeah. in the trash. I will say, your fadeaway jump shot of an actual great. baby. <laughs> like, when I was in the edit, I was just like, Nina, can we just run that back just for me? Yep. I just need to see, because your face was so hard. It was perfect. So in this episode, Issa is having some inner conflict, right? Do you guys feel she's really struggling with the decisions about Crenshaw or Nathan or Lawrence that she's made? I think she's she and everyone in this episode is struggling with choices, right? So yeah. it's about understanding that just because you like the choice and make the choice, it doesn't mean it's going to be easy mm. or yeah. that it's not going to have consequences. Mm -hmm. And so it's very subtextual what mm -hmm. they're all going yeah. through until they actually put words to their feelings. Yeah. And so I think that's also the journey that Issa takes throughout this season of just like, how do you speak your truth and like stand behind yeah. it? One thing I do think is unique in this episode is the first moment, a spark of what could or could not be between, you know, Molly and Tori. And I'm curious, one, how you, how you approach that, because we've never had in our show characters who have been around each other for a long time now click later. For both Molly and Torian, my directive was be curious and just having Yvonne in moments when she's looking at him of just like, see something you don't think you've seen before. Like, you know, just actually look for something different. And then Leonard, who plays Torian, is just so deeply funny. And much like myself, we have a huge comedy background, but we also love drama. And so yeah. when we're in a dramatic space, our tendency is to like downshift into comedy when things get uncomfortable. And I was just like, sit with the uncomfortability for a minute. Yeah, yeah. it was the, the first time we were kind of able to to see them be people as yeah. opposed yeah. to just co-workers. And Torian, I think, <laughs> improvises. He understood how to do like dramatic improv. And one of the moments that just killed me that I'm so grateful made it into the cut was him just being like, my mom has a mug. Yeah. Yeah. It was <laughs> so <laughs> sincere. Cause I told him, I was just like, when you like a girl, like you just want to keep the conversation <laughs> going at any cost. It's just like dumb shit. Well, we'll see yeah. where those sparks where take goes. us, if mm. anywhere. Cause this yeah. is insecure after all. For the final question, how do you guys make peace when what you are trying for is not working? When something's not right for me, uh, I can feel it, and I make peace with the fact that it's just not right. for me. It's not my journey. What's meant for me will be mine. What you guys do so well and are such great examples are is just like, you take it and you keep going. Get up, like take whatever time you need to yeah. like feel your pain, but get up yeah. and go to work and get it done. It's all a marathon. Well, next week's episode will no doubt lead to much more discussion. So don't forget to tune in. See y'all then. Thank you for joining us, Natasha. Cheers, 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 everybody.